My name is Michael Fulton. My name is Matteo McCahey. I am a PhD candidate at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities. And I am in electronic field production class at University of Wisconsin River Falls. So artificial intelligence is the art of programming a computer to do a task in some way that simulates human thought, basically. That's like kind of the dream idea behind it. In reality, it can mean a lot of different things. It can mean actually trying to simulate human thought processes. It can mean trying to solve complicated tasks in an intelligent, cognitive way. Um, or it can mean, oftentimes it gets applied to anything that kind of is sufficiently sci-fi. Um, especially when you're talking about like media outlets talking about computer science research. It's a project where we collaborated with University of Minnesota robotics professors and we heard about different types of robots and the way that they're... So I work on underwater robotics. Um, I mostly work on two robots. I work on an amphibious six-legged flipper-driven robot called Aqua. And I had the immense pleasure of being part of a team that developed a new loco AUV. Low-cost, open-source, uh, autonomous underwater vehicle. Um, and they both serve the purpose of acting as a companion to a human diver to achieve some kind of task underwater. Underwater robots can serve a ton of, a ton of purposes. They can be used for underwater construction. Uh, they can be used for surveying oceano oceanographic features. They can do... Uh, various tasks for marine biologists, like I said, and then um, another big one is repair of things like oil wells and underwater internet cables, stuff like that. We're using sound equipment to have really good sound, and I am using lights for the picture, and I'm using a camera from Fujifilm, and we are also using the slate. Uh, so I think that robotics is a really important thing. Um, I think that the effect of AI and robotics often gets a little overblown in the media and people get a little too excited, but at the same time there is so much promise and so much good that can be done um, as, these, as these techniques get better and as our robots make their way into actual real world situations.